present. A picture. A salad. How long ago was this taken? I'd say that was at least two kids and one multi-million dollar corporation ago. Oh. You know, Carl started the business in 1970. Uh, speaking of kids, are you still planning to take Carrie and CJ with you to Mykonos? I next? didn't tell you. I'm not going. You're not going? No. Wrong time of year for Mykonos. Spring. Spring is best for Mykonos. Third or fourth week in May. I didn't know when I made the reservation. That's all right. Uh, Carl, Carl, I, I hate to bring up business here, but there's something I just got to talk to you about. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. All right. Go ahead. I'll make another drink. Uh, honey, would you put some orange juice in that this time, please? Excuse me. Yes, sir. Uh, sure. Carl. Oh, this Jacoby Electronics group, oh. I just can't deal with these guys. I mean, they're, they're so inconsistent. Rather than stupid. Hello, Sally. Somebody can walk in. I know. Let's slip away now. Come on. Maybe you'll keep old car busy for at least a half an hour. Mom, let's go out to my car. I can't. I've got to make Carlos trick. Why do you make him disappear? I've been thinking about it. I don't know if I could do it. You gotta do it. We'll never get a better chance. It's gotta be tomorrow, Joe. <sighs> Opening day, you know what that means. It could open a whole world for us. We wouldn't have to hide anymore. Joe, I want you. Look, I've known Carl for years. I gave my first golf lesson at the club to him. I don't know if I can do it. Kill another human being. Carl isn't a human being, he's a machine. No heart, no passion, no nerves. All that went a long time ago. It's always come easy to him. Say the best of everything, especially you. And after tomorrow, we can all be yours, especially me. <laughs> well, what are you two plotting out here together, huh? <laughs> Tomorrow. I gave Gordy a start, you know. I could put a little pressure Honey, on it. Oh, that'd be great. Honey, look who I found. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Oh, he just got here. Just got here, man. Some friend you are. Where's your drink? Nothing for me, Carl. You know that. Oh, right. You don't need it. Not like the rest of these poor slobs. No pressures. Just a good game of golf. Tanned and healthy. You're the luckiest guy here, Joe. Maybe I'll get lucky tomorrow. Opening day, duck season. I pay $100,000 to join a club, and I only get to shoot a couple times a year. Uh, honey, the Bergs are leaving. We have to say goodbye. What time's the sun come up? Come on. Uh, six. Uh, you better pick me up about 4.30. I want to be there to hear the horn go off. You know, I got a good feeling about tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be my lucky day. The perfect crime is the one nobody realizes has been committed. Every day, we commit a dozen perfect crimes in our mind and we never get punished because those crimes never happen. That's the way it is in the real world. But murder, like a bad meal, has a way of repeating, especially when the bloody stroke is struck in the Twilight Zone. Morning. So, uh, this is morning? <laughs> Let's do it good, buddy! I got the deeks. Everything's ready.
this is a terrific spot. It's so quiet. They got good spread. When they make their turn and lock up, the sun will be in their eyes. That's how you do it, John. Keep the sun in their eyes. I love it out here. A moment before dawn, just waiting for them. You know, you're the only one I can do this with. Maybe you're the only friend I've got. People I meet, do business with, they're not friends. I think they'd rather see me done in. But out here, it's just us. No games, no money, no past, no future. the horn, and there's the ducks. <laughs> Got one. There's two more. Way off there. Oh, Joe, you get him. Shooty. He's leaning back, taking a high shot, and the, the recoil just took him right over. I don't know if he hit his head or not. And I stuck my gun right in the water for him to grab, and he pulled me right in, too. Like, I did everything I could to, to get myself up. He had so much stuff on him. He always had so much stuff. It took him, it took him right under. Is this your gun? No, it's Where is yours? It's out there somewhere. Well, we'll see if we can uh, get it back for you. Don't bother. I don't think I'm going to go duck hunting for a long time. you, Mr. Farrell. You recovered your gun. I sure would want you to lose it. Thanks. Project back.
says I still can't go to Destruction Derby with the guys, even after you said I could. Tell her, tell her you said I could go. Ew, Daddy, you didn't shave this morning. Not stupid cleaners. I told them not to put a crease in my pants, so of course they put a crease in my pants. I swear, I'm so mad I'm gonna sue. Ducks in the pool? As the Lake Ridge Sheriff called. Have you heard? Heard what? Dad, what about the demolition derby tonight? I gotta Dad. tell the guys. Save your father alone. I already told you. You can go to the movies, you can go to the video arcade. You cannot go to the demolition derby. That's final. Come on! No buts, no buts. Now go upstairs, get cleaned up. You too, Carrie. Mrs. Diamond's gonna pick you up at 6.30. Come on. Mrs. Diamond always smells like an attic. Oh, great. Go on, hurry. Sally, something terrible's happened. No excuses from you. I want you upstairs taking a shower in two minutes. We've got to greet our guests by 7 o'clock. It's late. I'm not sure I agree with you, Arthur. I don't think the market is softening in the least. In fact, I'm rather bullish on the outlook for our third and fourth quarter this year. But we don't have the earnings, Joe. Shut up, Arthur. You don't know what you're talking about. Wonderful party, Joe. Thank you, Nicole. How's that drink there, Ira? Just fine, thank you. Well, I was right behind you if you need it. Thanks a lot. talking about a quarter of a million dollars in sales each year, and I can't even get in to return my calls. I mean, this is your area of expertise. Could you give me a move, coach? Forget it. I was hoping you talked to Gordy Lazulier. I mean, I know you know him really well. Later. Joe, look who I found. Oh, how are you doing, Sir Shad? Oh, call was late. He just got here. Just got here? Mm -hmm. Can I get your drink? Not for me, Joe. You know that. Carl doesn't have to drink. He doesn't have pressures like the rest of us. Well, look at this guy, so tan and healthy. <laughs> Just a good golf game. I think he's the luckiest guy here. Don't you think so, Joe? Yeah. Sure. Oh, well, tomorrow you'll be the luckiest guy. I hope so. So, I thought I'd pick you up about 5.30? <laughs> I know, you'd rather make it 4.30. You like to be there to hear the horn go off. I gotta tell you, Joe, I got a really good feeling about this hunt.
Don't think I don't know what's going on. Oh, Joe, you're hurting me. You and Carl. It's been going on for years. Me and Carl? Carl Wilkerson. Don't, Sally. Don't. I know all about the golf lessons. I know all about the dead-end road out by the quarry. I know all about the Springfield Motel, about his apartment. Whenever I'm out of town, it's you and him all the time. <gasps> you can't be serious. This, this is ridiculous. God, I've never seen you so, so sincere, so hurt, so surprised. I never realized you were such a good liar. But then, you had to be to deceive him for all those years. Just stop it. This is scary. Not as scary as what you had planned for tomorrow. That was your plan, wasn't it? And old Carl, he's gonna go along with it. Poor idiot. But I'm afraid... I'm afraid he's in for some big surprise. I swear there's nothing going on between Carl Wilkerson and me. There never has been. Good. And you won't be a bit disturbed when I come home without him. I've been waiting a long time. A real long time for this night. And I wouldn't have to rush with you. Joe, I don't know where you... You got this crazy idea about Carl and me. But it's not true. Right on schedule. It was a kiss, as I recall. <laughs> I'll be home in a couple of hours. Joe, don't hurt Carl. He's innocent. I swear he's innocent. He was the first time, too. Morning. So this is morning. I paid $100,000 to join this club, didn't I? Yeah. Well, let's get to it, old buddy. He just wouldn't grab the gun. He was my best friend. It's a tragic thing. Joe. Carl, what's wrong? Sally, uh... Sit down, please. I'm afraid it's, it's really bad. 
It's Joe. He's dead. He drowned. He's, he, he, he fell overboard, and, and, and then his waders filled up, and then I reached out the gun to try and save him, but he wouldn't grab onto it, and then I... I... There's nothing I could do. He just... He's gone. I'm glad it wasn't you.